team is going to benefit from it. And that's exactly what's going to happen in life. That's the matter if you're a professional, a tradesman, if you are any, uh, you know, a public servant, or whatever you choose to be, then rugby or the rugby uh, attitude will help you. Because through hard work and through commitment and the concentration and the dedication, one day you will get the results. So somehow I'm telling you, keep going. And I'll, I, normally I, uh, well, I used to say that, for example, you must never try to be the best, you must try to be better. And that means today I want to be better than yesterday and tomorrow I want to be better than today. If you keep doing that all the time, one day you might become the best. But as a consequence, not as a mean of getting there. Don't never set it as an objective because you might not become the best. But just try to be better over there. And I keep insisting, I'm, even in myself, I, I've still got my hopes and it's right. We've got people been asking me about what I'm doing this year, what I'm going to do. I'm playing the first grade. I was initially said that I wanted to play the fourth grade just for the joy of the social out, have a beer or two with some guys like uh, Peter over there. And, uh, but I always knew in the back of my mind that I was going to be playing you know, higher and higher because playing socially or playing for the enjoyment of playing with people, with friends, doesn't mean that you're not committed. So I am committed to my training and to my game. The only thing is that probably my dedication level is different because I change the priorities in life. Now my family comes first, my work comes second, and probably the very last is right when probably in the past used to be right with first, right with second, and right with third. So really, it's not that about the commitment. You give the commitment is the best thing you can do for your conference because if you do the things well and you strive for excellence, then you're going to be absolutely proud of what you're doing. No point of doing 70%, no point of doing the things half-hearted, because you are going to be the first disappointed and you are building up stress on yourself and that works against you. So the first thing is commit yourself, that's the thing that being committed, you have to go to every training session and do this and just commit yourself in a, in a small amount of time, or a small amount of dedication, but do it. If you promise to give 10, just give 10 all the time. Not 9, not 9.5, nine give 10 all the time. So that's a sort of commitment that you should be probably putting into it. Now with that becoming that uh, heavy, I, uh, there's one point that I wanted to also make, and it's quite, quite current, and uh, this is drugs in sport and drugs in, in youth. I've been lucky to be taught that not to use drugs by any, uh, no, any circumstances. And uh, well, I was lucky because I, I followed the instructions of my uh, teacher at that time, my, my uh, uh, fitness uh, uh, coach. And uh, what I wanted to say is that I'm involved with the uh, campaign not to drugs, say not to drugs. And I've been hearing stories about how people get involved and you get to talk to uh, young boys and young girls and it's incredible how simple or how easy it is to get into drugs looking always for the shortcut. That's the way I see drugs, is the shortcut. When, you, when some young guy is frustrated for whatever, like for example, wasn't selecting the team, all of a sudden the frustration you know, comes and takes over and you don't know what to do. Your father is too busy working, won't listen to you. Your brother is too busy going out with a girlfriend, won't listen to you. Your girlfriend is too busy doing something else. And all of a sudden, somebody floating around with a cigarette or with whatever comes and offers you this shortcut. And it's totally against what I just said before. I'm talking about working hard, commitment and dedication. That's not the shortcut because 